Uh, hey there guys, I thought I would make a really quick video to let you guys know why I haven't been able to make as much content um, in addition to just having a head cold and the flu at the same time. It's fun times. Um, I also have been dealing with some uh, changes in my Lynch syndrome diagnosis. Some of you might know that uh, I was diagnosed with Lynch syndrome in 2015 um, and the uh, panel that they did, and they do like a blood panel where they take your blood and they test it for mutations in your DNA. Um, I had two mutations. One was Lynch syndrome and the other one was like, they don't know what it is. And um, every year I go see my genetic counselor so that I can find out more about Lynch syndrome, its risks, what what I can do to screen for it. Um, so basically I had my most recent appointment and essentially they found out that the other um, mutation that I have is also uh, now, uh, there's a greater amount of research linking it to Lynch syndrome as well. So that's kind of like doubling down on my Lynch syndrome. Um, and, uh, Lynch syndrome for those who have not, uh, followed my content before is also known as hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer or colon cancer. Um, uh, fortunately colon cancer is very easy to spot, but Lynch syndrome is not just the colon cancer risk. It is the, um, ovarian cancer risk, the endometrial, uh, cancer risk, among other risks, and uh, those were like the big ones for me with my one with my my one uh, mutation, which is why I had uh, uh, fortunately I had my prophylactic hysterectomy um, at the beginning of 2018 because uh, the, I actually had uterine cancer at the time, um, and uh, as you know or some of you might know about how I have been dealing with, um, over the last, or mostly, mostly in 2018, I had the most surgeries I've ever had in my life. Just in that year, I had 13 surgeries, um, all to help with the pelvic floor pain and to help with, uh, uh, masses that were growing on my ovaries. And in the end, we decided to just get rid of my ovaries just because, it's not worth it. Uh, the, the constant surgery is putting stress on my body and, um, the, the constant risk of, of, since I've already had cancer, I was first diagnosed with cancer at 18. Um, it wasn't worth the risk. So we decided, Hey, menopause at the ripe old age of 31. So, um, this January I had my last ovary removed and, now, um, they, they say that I have risks for nerve, uh, nerve cancer, brain cancer, skin cancer. There's, if you want to look up information on Lynch syndrome, um, I implore you to Google it if you're not as familiar. Um, there are multiple different variants of mutations. Um, and, uh, like I've, uh, said on social media before, I submit to the Gilda Radner Foundation for Cancer Research, uh, or Genetic Cancer Research to help people, uh, to help scientists and doctors and nurses better understand Lynch Syndrome and those who are affected by it. And, um, Lynch Syndrome is 100% hereditary, so if you have someone in your family who has had, um, any kind of cancer, I would highly recommend uh, meeting up with a genetic counselor and, uh, getting a risk assessment. Um, it's fairly, if, if there's any, if there's any family, uh, uh family history of cancer, most insurances will, co will cover it. Um, but if you don't have insurance, there is a, um, a really, um, affordable way to get tested. Uh, I'll leave a link to that down in the description. Um, if you have family risk, but you don't have insurance to cover the, the blood test to find out if you have that risk. But, um, I submit my blood every year to help with that test. And it's, um, it's, uh, doing that, that helps kind of provide more information on Lynch syndrome and, uh, you know, 
helping inform me on the the risks that I have and now face and uh let's I'm not gonna lie I have a, a lot of PTSD and anxiety over the last year and a half two years almost of time that I have gone through so much at like I said the from ages 29 to 31 I've been through a lot um and uh it's it's not done it's not over and uh I'm trying really hard to put on a, a happy face but it's been really hard and um I am having a hard time fighting off sickness and um I when I get sick I get sick for longer it's just my I my body's not handling things as well as it used to and uh could be attributed to menopause but it could also be attributed to a cancer that is somewhere in my body that I'm not aware of so fingers crossed that it is not cancer um I have a great team of doctors that are helping me uh you know screen for risks and support me and give me a lot of resources and um I just wanted to let you guys know one because I care about you guys and I want you to um you know understand that even if you seem like you're okay if you feel like your your body's at a hundred percent like cancer's the silent killer and um, there's a lot of other risks that genetic testing can, can prepare you for, like, um, um, oh my god, what can I think of it? Um, macular degeneration, I think that's, yeah, that's one of them, um, but, uh, um, Alzheimer's, uh, but there's, there's a lot of things that can be mapped out for you in terms of preparation and screening for your future um in in genetic testing so i highly highly recommend finding a genetic counselor near you to help get those tests taken care of and to analyze your uh, personal risk assessment um but until i am feeling better and i'm hoping that that is soon I have opted for uploading videos of my cats and them taking care of me and um, trying to stream as often as I can, but when I stream when I'm sick, I end up sleeping for 20 hours the following day, and that is not a joke. <laughs> I'm sleeping a lot, um, but fortunately, I, am, I have a very good support system. I have... Um, you know, amazing friends, amazing family, uh, amazing kitties, and of course, my amazing boyfriend, Jason, taking care of me, and uh, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing without that support system and without you guys, and I very much appreciate it, and I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas, and here's to 2020 being a better year than all the years before it, and the, the best way to make it that way is to work hard to do it and to be you and I almost said do you <laughs> I mean you could do you if you want to that's up to you um but be yourself and live your life for yourself because life is too short and I want you to be happy so I love you love you bye